It was the perfect me cute. She owned a small bookstore. Oh. He was the corporate competition. Hi. What's up? And she was a local librarian. So sorry. Hi. Yeah. While they were a mix of writers and book clubs from across the tri-state area. From the producers of You've Got Letters and When Harry Met Sally, George, and Diane, it's Along Came Polly Amory. Oh, come on. We've been through this before. How do you know they're the one? I don't know. It just feels different this time. The New York Times says it's like Nora Ephron ripped a line of coke. I'm just a girl standing in front of four guys and three other girls asking them to love me. Entertainment Weekly gives it 15 thumbs up. There you are. And critics are calling it not as much sex as you'd think. Can you turn it down? What? Where are you? The book fair is today. Babe, I'm sorry. I, you know I had this work thing. It's always a work thing with you. This was our anniversary. No, this, this was, was movie, movie night. night. You know, a shared calendar would solve most of these problems. We wrote to you! We wrote to you every day! <laughs> it's just, it's just so many letters. Wait, stop. Wait, don't leave. Brad, what are you doing here? We broke up with Lauren, Kevin, and Sarah. We just don't know how to quit you. Or you. Or you. Don't miss the non-monogamous romantic comedy of the decade, which audiences are calling absolutely batshit. We'll have what they're having. <laughs>